Oh, gee, it's a tough one to answer, but um, look, it was a, a very good win, there's no doubt about that. Um, one that the boys should be really happy with, but in saying that, um, it's been a tough couple of weeks, two good results, and we've got to back it up again this week against last year's Premiers in Geelong, so uh, another big challenge on our home deck this weekend. With the Cats coming up, is uh, Sando already up and about? Uh, I haven't spoken to him about it yet, but I'm sure he would be, um, he'd no doubt have a few nerves, but at the same time be pretty excited facing his old side. I think I heard him say he spent 16 years there as a player and coach, so he'd know the club inside out. He worked with them last year for the majority of the year, so um, I'm sure he knows a few of their tricks and it'll be a good challenge for us. Seems like the sort of bloke that would be willing to sort of build it up and not uh, just treat it like any other game. Happy to, to, to highlight uh, milestones and old teams and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's right, and no doubt he will. As I said, um, he's got a lot of history there. Uh, we saw a fortnight back how he really built up the showdown as a, as a, big, as a big thing for, for Adelaide and to come over with that result was good, but um, this week's a new challenge and I'm sure we'll be up to it come Saturday. Well, seeing those insight into, and also Darren Milburn's insight into the Caps, will that work to your advantage? I hope so. I hope so. Um, as I said before, they've both got a lot of history there. You know, Milburn played just shy of three, 300 games there, so they've both spent a large chunk of their life down at the Geelong Footy Club and... They know the place really well. Um, have a great insight on insight onto how they play, um, what the coaching staff is like, and as I said before, they no doubt know a few of their tricks. So, come the weekend, we'll definitely use as much of that knowledge as we can, and and hopefully put four good quarters together and come away with a good result. Scott, to me, the Swans, the way you do to be challenged, to be behind, and, and get over them on their day. What does that do for the team's belief and confidence? Oh, it should give the boys great belief. Um, the last fortnight now, at three-quarter time, we've been slightly down. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time we've been down two weeks straight in a row, two weeks in a row at three-quarter time and come back and won the game. So that should give the boys enormous belief in, in the ability and what we're capable of doing. And uh, going forward, we'll be able to draw back on that now and, and use it to our advantage, And especially against good sides. You're not going to control the game for the whole of four quarters and there's no doubt you get challenged, as we saw on Saturday night against the Swans. We started well second quarter, they got on top of us for a while, but um, we were then able to turn it into an arm wrestle and, and come away with a good result. So um, they're things we can definitely use to our advantage and going forward we'll do that. Where's the belief to come from? Oh, well, you need to do it to get the belief. And now we've been able to do it for two weeks straight. And the more you do it, the more belief you get. But there's no doubt the boys are feeling pretty confident at the moment and we've got a lot of blokes playing some good football who are in good form and, and that definitely helps when you've got weighted numbers right across the field and um, makes life easier for everyone if blokes are performing well. There's a talk, sort of talk revolving around Crows draw this year, you know, that if, uh, if injuries are favourable then you sneak into maybe six and that sort of thing, but having beaten Sydney like you did on Saturday night, beat Geelong this weekend, is that sort of proof that you're a much better side than that sort of talk suggests? Oh look, I've got great belief in the sort of side we are. I think that when we get it together and you know we're heading in the right direction, we've got a very young group, but we've seen over the past fortnight, and I think we're now we're now five and one, and we've got a very tough month coming up. So that'll no doubt show us exactly where we're at. But it's a challenge we're really looking forward to. Um, you mentioned the draw. We've got no control over the draw and who we play, and we just look forward to playing each week and getting out there and, and putting on a good show for the members and supporters and. Uh, we'll do that again this weekend and, and hopefully come well with a win, as I said before, against last year's Premier. If we can do that, it's another step in the right direction and then we'll focus on the week after. Are they still a measuring stick, Geelong? I think so. I think if you ask them right now, if they were happy with their form, they'd probably say there's a lot of improvement in their game still. Uh, and we'd say the same. Even you look at Saturday night, we still got beaten convincingly in a number of areas throughout the game and we'll look at that during the week and try and correct that this weekend. But... Um, we're really excited to play Geelong. You want to measure yourself against the best, and it's another opportunity to do that this weekend. How good is Patrick Danger doing now? He's getting better. Yeah, he's getting better. He's playing. He's in outstanding form. Um, he's a bull. He's a big, strong bloke, and he's very hard to stop when he's up and going. So he's going to be very important for us going forward. And you know, a lot's been said. You're probably going to ask me about his his um, contract and all the rest of it with him and Tippett. And of course, we'd love him to stay and and sign the line and get it out of the way. But um, I'm sure he'll do that in time. He loves the place, he enjoys Adelaide, so I can't see any reason why he'd want to pack his bags and leave. So you're confident he'll stay? Oh, I think so. He hasn't given me any reason to think otherwise. How much does his emergence and Rory Stones as well made life easier for you in the middle? 
Oh, look, you, I think now when you look at our midfield, you mentioned those two guys, and they're both in excellent form, but you throw in Petrenko, Callanan's had a go in there, Matty Wright, Dave McKay, who's back this year. It's Jason Paul Pleasure's role rolled through there. There's a number of guys that are playing some good football, and when you've got weighted numbers through the midfield, it makes it very hard for op opposition sides to match up on. And when we're doing that, um, all the numbers are up right through the midfield, so it makes life... Definitely easy for everyone that rolls through there. It's well documented the tough month of May is for you guys with Geelong Cup and Collingwood to come. Now that you've got that first one out of the way that maybe people didn't think you might win, do you believe you can maybe sweep the month now? Maybe we all thought maybe... <laughs> That'd be nice. We'll just sign it off now and just <laughs> <laughs> go into the mid-season break at 9-1 or whatever. You've got to be like before, but is that, that first stone or maybe may have been the biggest hurdle out of the lot? Oh, look, there's no doubt that Sydney was a huge challenge. They went into the game Saturday night undefeated. They had an outstanding win down in Tassie against Hawthorne the week before, and um, people were talking about our form and the teams that we'd beaten, but we went up there with a lot of belief and confidence with what we'd done so far, and to come away with that result against Sydney in Sydney on their home deck is uh, outstanding, and you mentioned it should give the boys enormous belief to take on any side. You've been around a long time at this club now. How, how good is the group? <laughs> uh, look, I think we've got a number of outstanding players who are still very young in their careers and um, in a number of years, who knows how good they can be. You know, you've already mentioned Dangerfield and Sloan and those blokes. We've got Tippett and Walker's kicking goals. I think he's sitting on top of the Coleman at the moment. But we've got a great mix of um, Callanan, who's 29. We've got a great mix of experience and youth in the team at the moment. And in two, three years' time... I think I said last time we did a press conference, I'd love to have a crystal ball in front of me as to what might happen. Um, I'd still love that, but I think we're capable of doing um, great things with the side that we've got at the moment if we can hold it together. Is this a, it's a pretty open season? Do you think this could be a year where any number of teams could uh, pinch a premiership when they're just playing footy at, good footy at the right time? Uh, yeah, I mean, you've still got the likes of West Coast, who were very good last year. Collingwood are starting to find some form now. Geelong are still there about St Kilt. Hawthorne, you know, they're probably not as happy as they'd like to be where they're at. But the good sides are, are still very hard to beat. There's no doubt about that. And, but in saying that, if, if a side is 5% off their game, you'll get beaten. And you've seen the improvement in Gold Coast and GWS just from the weekend's games. Um, in a couple of years, it's going to be a very even competition. Last year, Collingwood and perhaps Geelong had this sort of aura around them that they were almost uh, untouchable for most of the season. Do you feel this year, that, is there still an awe around certain teams or is everyone, everyone can be beaten on the back? Oh, I can only speak on behalf of our team and we go into each game preparing to win. We play to win and that's the only way we look at it no matter who the opposition is. Um, we've got Geelong this week and we'll prepare and we've got Milburn and Sanderson who have got great history there that will give us a good insight into them and prepare and go out there on Saturday win, not just put up a challenge, we play for the four points. Any confidence? Yeah, absolutely. Did you see your home Archie's game yesterday at Richmond? No, I didn't. I didn't see much at all of that Port game. Did he go all right? He's outstanding. Yeah. Out it's as, a, as a former teammate, I'm just doing a piece on how, much, how old did you rate him? I loved Ivan. I loved playing under him. Um, spent a lot of time with him through the midfield, obviously. And to see a bloke like him leave the club was disappointing because he's such a great guy to have around the place. He's a, you know, his personality, he just blokes feed off of him. So to lose that was disappointing, but... I'm happy for him that he's found a new home and he's playing some good football and getting his opportunity. You know, he probably went behind Sam Jacobs here and felt that if he was going to better his career, it was better off elsewhere and it's good to see him playing some good footy. Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys.